Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film a highly requested video which is a makeup look with my mom. For those of you that don't know, my mom was actually a makeup artist for MTV for several years. So for major events like prom or big parties, she's always done my makeup. So I took a poll on my Instagram and you guys voted for an everyday look. So that's what we did. So if you would like to see how she did this look that I have on right now, keep watching. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the IT product, which is like a moisturizer that you can apply it as a moisturizer. And I use a sponge instead of a brush. To me, I have more control and I feel more comfortable with the sponge. So what I do is I start from the top and I start working it down because you have little tiny hairs. And so I kind of like feel like you're combing them down when you're applying foundation in a downward position. Yeah, dab don't work. Like for more coverage, I just, <laughs> I feel that when you do this, it just gives you a little bit more coverage. But this is really something easy that you could apply with your hands if you like, because it, it feels like a moisturizer. And when I put foundation, I also put it on the eyebrow area. and then on the sides it should be the same color and you you shouldn't have to take the foundation all the way to this area because I feel like it should should match your color if it doesn't then you definitely want to bring it all the way down but in this case it matches her neck color perfectly so I don't need to do that I look like a ghost I'm using this color on Michaela, which is fair, and I do have a kit that has a whole bunch of different tones so that I can so that I can have those colors available for anybody else that I might be doing makeup on. Right. And then I, after the concealer is done, I go over it with the foundation just to kind of like blend it, like so. This is the Hula Bronzer, so this is the next thing I do. And I'm going to contour her whole face around here and take it all the way to there. Just to give her some color. Kind of leave this a little, I don't touch that area, I go above the brow, around the hairline, above the brow, and then I add a little color here. So you don't really like contour with intense like cream contour. Not you just not contour with bronzer. Day. Yeah, for every day I just contour with bronzer because this is matte. It has no no shine. So then I just blend it upward. You definitely can do this, but only if you're using a matte tone. Next step I do for every day is I use this color on her on Michaela. It's called Melba. From Mac, it has no shine. It's matte, and um, I just add it to the temple of her cheeks. The, the it's apples, the apples. The apples. <laughs> so I just add it to the apples of her cheeks, and then I kind of like mix it back. So Mom uses Ola Mer translucent powder. Does it come with this little? With this it comes with this little. Um, a little pop up, pop up, and so I just powder under the eyes. And this is a step that's important for my skin and in the center because I have very oily skin. So that gets me through the day. And um, for the eyebrows, I use an angled brush like so. With in this particular case, I'm using dark brown. Who makes that? Um, it's called La Femme. I start in the mid, in the middle of this area here, and I work it towards the arch. 
and then I work it down. And then I come back with a little whatever's left of the brush to kind of like do this area here and fill in this area. Like so. This might this takes a little practice. So there I go again. I take this area, I show it around two quarters towards towards the arch and then I bring the color down and I only dip it once I don't go in there and add too much color especially for daytime whatever's excess on the brush I'm just going to use it to fill in a little bit on this area here next thing I, I want to do is I'm going to line her lips with it a lot of people don't line lips but I think that when you do line your lips, you can use the color of the liner to do your lips and it will certainly stay on for hours. In my case, it usually stays on all day, but this is how I do this. I kind of like bring the color down with the pencil to the very end. I don't really do the center middle and then on the bottom I pencil in a little bit towards the ends of the lips working towards the center but I don't do anything else and it just it, it I mean if you do it right it should stay on all day this lip pencil is by Lancome it is called ideal and normally we use Spice by MAC, but today we want with this. But just any nude lip liner is kind of our go-to for every day. I like to line the eyes just a little bit. I usually do maybe two-thirds close to the lash line, working towards the end. I don't do a tail or anything like that. I just add a little bit of color, like so. I'm going to do the same thing to the side, outer corner to the out, one third in, and then I use a blending brush like this one, that's pretty firm, you want something firm, and close your eye, you're going to just work that same line towards the lash line, and at the very end you're going to just take the brush a little upward to kind of like mix it better. So you're gonna work work the line that you did towards the lash line and then here in the corner you're just gonna move it up a little bit like so. <laughs> Curl the lashes, look at me. Where do you buy your eyelash curler? The best one in the market is Shua Mora. But this one is, hmm, Tweezerman? Yeah, yeah. I use this mascara, I think it's amazing. We use this one more than we use the Better Than Sex one. Yes, I have all types of mascara. This one I think is the one I like the best. And make sure that you start at the base and you kind of like touch it to help it curl and then you just extend the wand. To cover the whole lash. Look up. Let's do the bottom. And Michaela's eyes are very round, so I don't do the inner lash line. I want to give her more of an almond-shaped eye, so I just do the very from the middle to the end. Just gonna add a little gloss to the very center of the lip. And that's an everyday look. Thanks, Mom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so that you can get notifications when I post. If you guys like this video, I would love to do another one with her of her doing a going out look. So let me know if you want to see that. But I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.